So in this presentation I'm going to show how you can capture the Heartbleat vulnerability traffic and also how you can detect it with the Snort. Okay, so just to show what we have here, we have a Ubuntu server at 172.16.121.150 and this itself is vulnerable. If we look at the version of OpenSSL, we find it's 101E, so it's vulnerable. So what we'll do is we'll just quickly pull up a browser and access the web server here. There we go. So we're using HTTPS. That's working fine there. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll start Wireshark over here. We'll start that capturing and then we'll examine the traffic that we get. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just uh, see probe for the vulnerability to see if the heartbeat is there. Okay, so what we get back, uh, we see a heartbeat there. And then we'll go ahead and we'll capture the 64K back with that. Okay, so now let's have a look at the traffic that we've generated. Okay, so we're using SSL on port 443. You can see that there. Okay, so here's the here's the traffic. Uh, we, we don't see a, 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 a great deal of the contents because obviously it's encrypted. But uh, what we can see is if we just search for a certain binary pattern. So at, at packet 38, we have the heartbeat request. Okay, so it's this that's actually probing from the client to the server for the heartbeat request. Okay, so it's this one here that's actually uh, performing the the scan for the for the for the vulnerability. Okay, so if we wanted to detect that, that is eighteen zero three zero two zero zero. So let's do our snort rule. So alert four four three heartbleed, and we'll call it uh, we'll call it heartbleed heartbeat request. Okay, eighteen zero three zero two zero zero, and we'll give it an SSID, and that's for our hex pattern. So we'll just make a directory log four and then we'll run. Okay, there we go. So now what we'll go do is we'll run it again and see if we can detect somebody trying to probe our system for that. Okay, so it's not triggered yet. So we'll go ahead with the uh, next one, and we'll see how we are there. Okay, much better. So we we see we have one alert, and there we are. Perfect. Okay, so we can see there, there is the heartbeat request, and we've successfully managed to detect that, and we can detect which host it came from. Okay. And our server here. Okay, so, so this is where the vulnerability is, and that has identified the the uh, how you can actually detect it. Okay, so so that's given you a, a quick demonstration of how you can examine the network packets and also how you can detect the vulnerability with with inside Snort.